Hey, um, Mr. Iglesias, do you got a sec? Sure. I have a little bit of a crisis. Yeah, you and me both. Okay, me first. So what can you tell us about part two of Mr. Iglesias? Class is back in session. I'll tell you the biggest difference. The relationships on the show are growing quite a bit, and uh, they managed to find a way for me to have a girlfriend on the show. Hey. So that's gonna be something that's, a, 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 you know, we've added a new cast member, and um, yeah, it's 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 a little bit different. I've I've uh, I, I never thought I'd. I've, this is the first time I've ever had a significant other in any type of you know production. So it caught me uh, caught me off guard a little bit. Look for uh, the new addition to the show. Her name is Alora Casados. Uh, she is uh, who's playing my uh, my love interest on the show, and her story is incredible. Uh, when you find out her background, and also another great thing about this show is how diverse the cast is. Um, can you tell me about that? What does it mean to be in a show that represents so many different cultures? Also, it doesn't take place at a high end bougie high school or something like that. It's telling a different story. Tell me what it means to be a part of something like that. Oh yeah, it's definitely not modeled after a bougie high school. It's it's <laughs> modeled after the high school that I actually went to. Uh, I went to Long Beach Wilson High School, and uh, it is far from bougie. Uh, <laughs> and the, well, the school f it, it is very diverse. I mean, every walk of life is there. You name it, they're there, hanging out. With everything that's going on in the world, um, people are angry. They're frustrated. Um, do you find it challenging then to tell jokes and make people laugh? Are you hesitant at all to do that? Uh, very, uh, I, you know, I, I always thought that I'd, I'd be safe as a, as a comic because I've, I've kept my show a certain way. I, I've kept my show free from politics, uh, religion, sports, all the things that ruffle feathers. Uh, I try to stay away from anything controversial, anything divisive. So that's why it's the whole unity through laughter and, 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 and talk about things that people can come together, uh, over versus, you know, leaving like, no, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. So I says, as long as I keep the shows like that, I'll be okay. Come to find out, that's not necessarily the case now. Everything is so, you know, sensitive and just, you don't, you don't know, it's very divisive. You don't know what's, what's okay and what's not okay anymore. There's a really special woman mm -hmm. who's being deprived of an awful lot of goodness. Yeah, well, her name must be Waldo, because she's hard to find. 